When Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Wii U and 3DS was announced, there were several characters I wanted in the game. A lot of them made it in, but a lot of them didn't. However, there has been DLC, and recently a fighter ballad was opened up so users can vote for who they want to be in the game. And remember when I said there were characters I wanted that didn't make it in? Well that's what we're going to go over today, in my top 10 fighter ballad picks, or other title that I randomly decide on while making this video. Since the ballot has its own rules, I'll be restricting this list to those, which means any video game character, but they had to have originated from a video game. Which means no Goku, no Shrek, no brain dead suggestions like that. With all that said, let's begin. Number 10 goes to Wolf from the Star Fox franchise. Wolf was in the previous installment of the Super Smash Bros. series, but for some odd reason he didn't make it back to this game. I mean, Sakurai said he was trying to cut down on the clones, but... We got Toon Link still, we have Roy, and Lucas as DLC. Not to mention we still have Falco who is even more of a clone to Fox than Wolf is. He was a great addition to the Brawl roster as he increased the number of villains, which we desperately needed. And although Sakurai said all future DLC will be fan service, I still see Wolf coming back whether the ballad says so or not. Especially with the brand new Star Fox game that's headed to the Wii U. No offense to Bowser Jr, but he really isn't a good replacement for Wolf on the villains roster. Plus the Star Fox representation is severely lacking, and we already had enough Mario characters in Smash Brothers as it is. So my number 10 spot goes to Wolf. The number 9 spot goes to Spyro the Dragon. I know that sounds weird, but he has done a bit for gaming. Aside from being a great franchise in general, Spyro kinda revolutionized things with Skylanders. I mean, it influenced Disney Infinity and Amiibo. So that kinda gets him something, right? Right? Hopefully if he magically does make it into the game, they'll take the Pac-Man route and go with the classic Spyro. And not that pug looking ugly Skylanders one. There's so many cool moveset ideas you could have for Spyro. His neutral special could have him blow in flames, and his down special could have him switch between the flames like electricity, ice, fire, and his side special could be his charge attack. The development team would have so much material to work with for coming up with his moveset. And Spyro has certainly made a name for himself in the recent years by stealing money from children and their parents' wallets. So the number 9 spot goes to Spyro the Dragon. Hey, Capcom got two reps, right? It only seems fair that Namco and Sega would get two reps as well. I mean, I'll discuss Namco's later because it's on this list, but for Sega, who are we thinking? Shadow? Tails? Nah. We are talking about Nipples, I mean Knuckles, the Enchilada, I mean Echidna. I mean, think about it, Shadow and Tails would just be a clone of Sonic. What do they even do? Knuckles can dig, he can climb, he can glide. Digging into the dirt could play a huge role into his moveset, he could plot surprise attacks. And plus, who needs wall jumping or wall sticking when you could just climb up the walls? This could lead to Knuckles having one of the best recoveries in the game, able to climb up the walls if his recovery doesn't reach far enough to reach the ledge. I would have suggested someone from a different Sega franchise like I.I. from Super Monkey Ball, or Knights, but I'm not sure how they would be implemented gameplay-wise. I mean, it's Nintendo, they'll think of something, but for me, I'm not too creative. But I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who would love to see Knuckles in this game. Knuckles the Echidna gets the number 8 spot. Alright, this is a really weird one! I don't mean the character, I mean my reason for placing it. I have never played Shovel Knight. Why do I want him here? Because I think he's a very good representation of the indie game community. 
It would be a perfect way for Nintendo to show that independent developers could also make great games that everyone enjoys. You don't have to be like some big corporation or anything. Come on Nintendo, show some love and bring Shovel Knight to the game. Especially since he recently got his own amiibo, that's plenty of love right there, just keep it going. Many people really want Shantae, and I actually have played her games, and they're kinda... meh. I just feel like Shovel Knight would be a better representation due to all the popularity he's gotten recently. And plus he looks pretty cool. Shovel Knight gets the number 7 spot. Okay, okay, this one's not as ridiculous as you might think. First of all, Crash Bandicoot is not the official mascot of PlayStation. He's just deemed the official mascot by the fans, therefore making him uh, unofficial. So if you think that rules anything out, then think again. For a brief moment, Crash Bandicoot was competing with Mario and Sonic with his three Naughty Dog games, and then his kart racer. But then he kind of sunk into the depths of licensing issues. And it was all downhill from there. But in that time, Crash had a number of games on Nintendo handhelds, and his most recent adventure, Crash Mind Over Mutant, was on the Nintendo Wii. Even just the fact that he was able to join the mascot wars in the late 90s is enough to prove that he's worthy for Smash. He could spin, body slam, fires Wumpa Fruit Bazooka, and so much more. And making it into Smash could help Crash make a name for himself again. It might even give him a new game! <laughs> <laughs> Sakurai! 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 <laughs> we could have gotten Daisy. But no. No, 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 no. Why have Daisy when we could have top tier bull malarkey? Who cares about. A, a cool a cool character using all the things from the Mario sports games like kicking soccer balls at people or or uh, tennis balls no who cares about all that when you could have one of the most frustrating characters to fight <laughs> they can do this but they can't do to who I have next Sakurai why how could you how could you do this to me Sakurai what <laughs> Seriously, I'm not even kidding. I mean, I know I'm no game developer or anything, but how do they get Rosalina and Luma to work? But they can't bring back the Ice Climbers. The Ice Climbers is one of the most unique characters in the game, controlling two people at once. That's basically what Rosalina and Luma is. There were so many cool chain grabs and combos and mix-ups you could do with these two, and just as I was getting used to them, they were deconfirmed. Not only were they not announced, but they were flat out deconfirmed because of technical issues with the 3DS. Which stinks even more because it shows how the 3DS is even holding the Wii U version back still. If it was just the Wii U, we probably could have had Ice Climbers. So I guess I'll just sit here and pray that in the future they'll create some sort of patch that will fix this problem so that way they can include the Ice Climbers. But they're not the last ones from the previous games in the series that were cut. There's still one more character. Snake? Snake? Snake. This one is probably the most likely out of all the characters on this list. He already has three trophies representing his franchise in the game. And after a fake leak by that jerk-faced Artsy Omni, the fans showed even more desire to play as him, Rayman. He has a bit of history with Nintendo. In fact, his first game was planned to be on a Nintendo system, but was instead moved to the PlayStation. The fact that Rayman's limbs aren't connected could play a huge part in his gameplay style, throwing his fists across the stage. And using the paint bucket abilities from Rayman 3 could make him an extremely unique fighter. My theory is that he was planned for the game, but once Ubisoft ported Rayman Legends to other consoles instead of exclusively on Wii U like it was originally planned, uh, Nintendo got angry and sort of took him out. 
But there's already three Rayman trophies in the game, and Sakurai said he has the model from Ubisoft. So there's no reason why Rayman shouldn't be in the game now. Forgive and forget, Nintendo. Forgive and forget. Just put him in. If you've followed my channel for a while now, this number one choice should be no surprise to you. It's of course, Jin Kazama from the Tekken franchise. My desire to have Jin in the game only grew when Heihachi was announced to be a Mii Fighter. I mean, come on Nintendo, you can't just shove Tekken off like that by making a Mii Fighter costume only. Tekken has had a couple games on the handheld, and hey, they had their own Wii U edition of Tekken Tag Tournament 2 featuring Nintendo characters, costumes, and items. Tekken deserves a big thanks for that. It's the most successful fighting game franchise of all time. Namco is basically Nintendo's best friend right now. And you shove off Tekken to put Ryu from Street Fighter in the game? Namco even put Link in a Soul Calibur game. Come on, Nintendo Senpai! Notice them! Namco deserves to have a second rep, especially since the game wouldn't even be possible without them. And Jin Kazama is that rep. So all you Tekken fans out there, get voting for Jin Kazama. And thank you all for watching my top 10 fighter ballad picks. Leopold the Brave, out. Pretty good. You're pretty good.